so we uh, we have the crane set up here, okay. and we're gonna lift the core and put it onto the bolts here. Um, <clears throat> and this crane is really made for a bigger space, but it's uh, it's versatile. You can t I got one of the legs folded up so I could get it in there closer, and really one leg is enough to hold this thing up uh, with this crane. But I'm going to lift it up and then I'll have to straighten out these wires while it's hanging over here and we'll put the wires in first, fish those through while we mount the core on here. So I will crank it up a little. Okay, we're going to try to insert this onto the bolts. Got the wires extended out. Might have to make some adjustments here. Okay, I'm just going to show inserting the wires in here first into the proper holes and we have it set up so the primary A or pardon me secondary A will be at the top and the primary is on the side so in here what are these? Fairly straight, so they'll slide through there. Okay, it looks like it's ready to try to put in place here. I'm not right exactly over top of it, so I'll have to swing it a little bit.
and I kinked up. Alright, <clears throat> that's looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and lower it down. This is actually the pretty much the final assembly for the core. It's almost all the way down on the end plate. I've got some washers and nuts here and we'll just tighten it down the rest of the way using the bolts. Uh, that actually went together fairly well. Um, <clears throat> it would be better if I was directly over the top, but it worked, worked out okay. Uh, may be able to get the uh, the crane in closer on the back here, but it was close enough, so we went ahead with it. Maybe we'll do that on the next one. I'm just gonna tighten this down into place. There's no nothing in between the spacer blocks and the end plate there. That works very nicely for the final uh, lowering. Just keep it even so we don't send those screws. Eight inch bolts. Just about all the way down. shims go in. I can show you those right now. Uh, here's the shim stock. We see if we have a shot there. So I'm gonna have to cut this down into uh, like two inch strips. We'll keep the length, but I'll have to cut them into two inch. So it's going to be, these come from Granger, and they're pretty nice. They have the actual thickness marked on each one. So this is uh, one thousand. This one is fifteen thousand. Oh, oh, one five. Two, oh, oh, three, and I believe we have oh, oh, four, oh, oh, five. It's probably the one we're going to use. Oh, oh, six, and 
what was seven, I think would go up to yeah. We go up to from point zero zero one to point zero fifteen. Okay, so we're gonna cut a couple of strips and use those to position the rotor and then tighten the bearings from the bottom and from the top. Thank you.